Good morning, how are we doing? Just about missed the rain this morning, which is not. So a little bit of drizzle on the morning walk. So one thing that is messy, but can help you stay fuller for longer, because let's face it, if you can, if you're more satisfied, more full up, you're probably more likely to stick to the deficit you're in for longer, which means you're gonna get the weight loss goals, the fat loss goals, whatever you're achieving in that space, no matter how much you have to lose. Or vice versa, maybe it's a maintenance goal during the week to stay full up, to allow yourself more indulgent things on the weekend or even in, during the week. Because let's face it, even if you're maintaining, then, you know, there's going to be times where you're still going to be, eat, it's still easy to overeat, um, especially if you've got social events, meals out. So here's a few ways, or well, one way, which is to bulk out your meals. Now, We've talked about protein a lot. I'm not actually going to talk about that, but protein's a given now, I think. So protein every meal is a given. But this one, research shows that the volume or the weight of your food, or your plate, plays a big part in how full you feel. Um, they've done some studies in paper plates as well, that people tend to serve less because they can feel the weight of the food. I'm not saying eat off paper plates, but that might be one option. Um, but one of the ones is to increase the volume on your plate. And three ways to do this are one, things like stir fry veg, super low in calorie. And as messy as it looks, when you have a mountain of food on your plate, like I, yesterday I bought the, an extra large bag, like the biggest bag there was of stir fry veg. Um, you got loads of different vegetables in there. The whole bag, it's like 150 calories. I throw in some meat with that, some cooked chicken, like as a really easy meal, some soy sauce. And to me, that's like delicious, easy, morning marion, really quick and super duper filling. And for a meal that might help in terms of keeping you full, a meal that might help for quickness, keeping you on track and a meal that might help you save a lot of calories for perhaps a more indulgent meal later in the day or at the weekend to fit that around a perfect option so that's number one and you can get stir fry veg frozen or fresh a really easy one number two is to think kind of big salads and i spoke to this about this to someone yesterday about you know if you think of like protein bars and snacks they're fine by the way but if you're hungry, my question is, is it because the weight of your meal is quite small? So obviously in a snack, there's not much water, right? There's, it's dry, that's why it's a snack, a perishable, lasts a long time snack. So when we, when we think about it like that, okay, can we add more water and more volume to your snack or your meals? And that would be where salad vegetables come in. I gave the example of, I could have a massive chicken and cheese salad, if I'm honest. And I love, like, a bit of um, cheese on top of us. Parmesan, um, or Parmesan, uh, or um, just some cheddar on top. Any cheese, you I'm not fussy with cheese. Feta on top, just doesn't need loads, but, like, big salad, chicken, then that feta, or... Um, olive oil balsamic i prefer cheese to be honest because cheese gives me a bit more protein it's a, it's a bit more filling and tasty than something like olive oil but for the same kind of calories and it gives me that flavoring so i might do like a balsamic a little bit of olive oil and then like some cheese on top of that as well morning louise and for all of that that might be like 300 and odd calories which is the same as like a protein bar and an apple or something which is fine too because sometimes you're on the go right but i'm just thinking for when you're not perhaps on the go and you can sit down and eat, that's going to be preferable. So that was um, the second part of that to increase your volume. And again, obviously you can't get salad frozen, but what you can do is buy the ready, ready to go one. So you can just chuck some chicken inside of it and it's done. Um, you can even get, I think it was Aldi or Lidl, some Caesar salad kits that are already done. Now, you're probably gonna go, yeah, but the sauce. The sauce is in a separate packet. So me personally, I didn't actually put the sauce in. It just doesn't offer a lot to me. Like if the, if the cheese is on it, I'm good. So I'll play, I'll, I'll accept that. So that's just 
one thing to think about today, that the weight of your plate, the volume of your food, um, can you increase that today without really increasing calories? So, of course, you could, you know, just go, well, I'll just have more chips or more ice cream and eventually the weight is going to go up. And that's true. Um, but we're looking to do it from a nutrient dense way. So I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. If you are coming in for our five day menopause mastery program, which starts on Monday, the 3rd of July, by the way, just comment below menopause. I'll put the link around this for you as well. And I will see you then.